Hi, welcome back to Dominica. It's Laza's 30th this week, so we're pulling out all the stops and we've decided to stay on land for a few days to celebrate, along with our good friends Jesse and Jan from Sailboat Adhara, who we haven't seen for a few months. Join us for this week of celebrations as we share some of our favorite things to do on the island of Dominica. We needed a base for our adventures, and given the occasion, we chose this beautiful treehouse near Trafalgar, which is a great location, not too far away from a lot of the points of interest on the island. We loved staying here. It was completely open plan and with no walls, so you're walking around with full open access and a view of the jungle. And at night you can hear everything come alive, but from the safety of your own bed. (laughs) Our first stop was to Freshwater Lake, which is the biggest lake in Dominica. It sits at about 1.6 kilometers above sea level, making it a much cooler temperature up there than down at the coast. There's pretty much always a fog rolling in, which also keeps it cool and gives a really atmospheric feel. Should we fly the drone? Yeah. The vegetation here is so different to what we'd seen anywhere else on the island due to the high levels of rain. We started this hike on a circular trail that gave us spectacular views over the lake the whole way. We had some fun flying the drone, but then somehow managed to land it in a tree. So there was a bit of a recovery process to find it, but we managed in the end. I'm really warm. It's a pretty special place. I feel like I'm like a travel guide or something like. So behind me, you'll find Freshwater Lake, one of the 15 rainiest places in the world. <laughs> I think you have a future. Yeah? Okay. Even if the air was pretty cold, we decided to go for a dip in the lake whilst we were up there. A little bit nippy. These little fish would come and nibble at your feet, which at first was a little bit ticklish. It is fresh, huh? <laughs> oh, it's really refreshing. This is perfect. Yes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, proper little current. I can feel like the. Like the fresh Yes, I'm like different. I'm like sinking a bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? It's, I think it's really hard to swim in. It's yeah, like it a difference is. to the ocean. It is. We just like, it doesn't fall as much. No, <laughs> it is. It wakes you up. Nice. Oh, cool. <laughs> it feels like we're up in like the highlands or Norway or something. It's crazy. We've just been laughing too much. And sinking because it's not buoyant at all. We used to see water making you <laughs> Okay, I know this is a little bit weird, but I got myself into a bit of a laughing cycle. For some reason, we find it so funny that we just weren't very buoyant in the lake. And every time that we would laugh, we would sink more, which would just make me laugh more. So I just couldn't get out of it. <laughs> It's funny. I think it looks great. I think you look like like a Power Ranger. (laughs) The next thing we did was go canyoning. We'd heard such good things, so we splashed out on the activity and spent the afternoon rappelling and jumping down the gorge. Yeah, lean back and through, lean back and through. Go. Yeah? Got a lot of water in the nose, huh? Right? Did <laughs> didn't expect it to fall that quick, yeah? Yeah, you just let go and you yeah, yeah. went straight down, yeah. right? Nice, all oh, the water's nice. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How was that? 
Okay. <laughs> Woo! The gorge was gorgeous. The shapes of the rocks that had been carved out by the water, along with the lush vegetation and crystal clear water, made for an otherworldly experience. The guys at Extreme Dominica were really good fun and professional. We really recommend doing it if you're in Dominica. After an adrenaline-packed afternoon, we came back to the treehouse to wind down a bit, before tackling more adventures the next day. <laughs> so we're gonna try and get to this waterfall that drops down into the sea. But unfortunately, we can't get to it anymore because the ladder's not in action. This guy who built the ladder actually fell off it and was down there for two days. So it's probably for the best that we're not going going down, but we can get a view from it from where we're going now. And it's pretty warm today. <laughs> so we'd heard about this pretty cool waterfall that flows straight into the sea and we wanted to get to it. You used to be able to access it from the beach, but the way down to the beach was seriously dodgy. So we understood that reaching the beach itself wasn't gonna be possible. It's like a ride at one of the, like a water park. <laughs> and instead we went to the top of the waterfall, which doesn't give you the best of views, but was still pretty impressive. We got to live it all virtually through our drone though. Nice catch. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. The perfect thing yeah, to throw. It is. I was craving this, you know. We were talking about. I was it. like, yeah, you know. drop. Yeah, like. Yeah. The perfect thing right now would be a coconut water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right, time to go to Victoria Falls, which has been highly recommended, and uh, about an hour's hike from here. We started our walk up to Victoria Falls. We knew it was further up the river, but we didn't see any markings along the way. So we had to wing our way up there, unsure of which path to take, and zigzagging our way across the river, stone hopping along. I got you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is I just insane! Want to get in. Across the river, I guess. Yeah. So through here, or that way, or you just have to go for it and get your feet wet. 
At some point. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I know. Oh, actually, this doesn't look... Unfortunately, my navigation skills didn't get us very far, and I probably wouldn't have made it up there if I'd gone alone. Are you sure it's that way? Could be. Yeah, I think it's here. Haha! Yeah. <laughs> wow! Whoa! Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Damn! There's that tree, and you can put your foot on that rock and then slide up. Yeah, I think so. Victoria Falls is unlike any other waterfall we've seen before. It really felt like some kind of paradise on earth, especially as no one else was there and we had the space all to ourselves. It really is no wonder they call Dominica the nature island. We could have spent hours there playing in the pools and jumping off rocks, but it was getting dark, so we embarked on our hike back and made it back in time for some birthday pizza. Yeah. So we just made it to Bowery Lake, which is another incredible sight. Just hiked the whole way here and it's just beautiful the whole way. And uh, so green. I mean, you can see behind me, but it's like incredible and kind of misty as well, like uh, freshwater lake. It's just stunning. So much cooler temperature wise as well. It's like, um, actually my skin's kind of cold to touch, which after having been in the tropics for four months or so, it's really nice. Reminds me of the Canaries. Really, really does remind me of La Gomera actually. And that hike we went on in the mist, in the forest. I'm just concentrating on not falling here on the rocks. <laughs> Bowery Lake is actually right next door to freshwater lake and it has a really similar feel. We decided to go back up there because we were craving a bit of cooler weather. It's a smaller lake, but it has similar vegetation and has that same mist rolling in. Such a refreshing stop after the heat of the coast. We then made our way south to the fishing village of Soufria for some underwater activities. We'd already been scuba diving in the north of the island already and had heard that the diving down south was just as impressive, if not more so. So we signed up for two dives with a dive shop down there, Nature Island Dive, and had a great time. The corals down here are some of the best preserved in the Caribbean. However, whilst we were there, we learned that there's a disease called stony coral tissue loss disease that's killing a lot of the ancient corals down here. The dive team works hard to treat the disease and preserve the coral diversity, but it's pretty disheartening work. We loved our dives down there, especially as we got closer to the edge of Scott's Head. There are so many big fish living out there, and really cool to see.
So we're in Sufria at uh, the free diving spot and we're going to go up to the platform. I must say we look very pro. Getting ready. Number eight on our list is going down to Sufria to practice your freediving skills. There are a couple of schools down here where you can take some classes or full courses if you're interested in learning how to freedive, or if you're already certified, you can come and train here. There's something about freediving from a platform that feels like such a luxury and is really nice to have compared to using a diving buoy. We took advantage of the pretty perfect conditions to take our friends out and practice a bit. Time for some different water activities. After working hard and practicing your diving in the sea, head over to Trafalgar Falls for a relaxing experience in the natural hot springs right at the foot of the waterfall. We've got both hot water and cold water here, so it's perfect. It's kind of like a sauna. Okay, it's a little bit slippery though. <laughs> we headed back down to the Sufria area for a walk before heading over to Scott's Head, the southern tip of the island, a little bit later on. Hey buddy. Can we have one? Can we just yeah, take he's it? Jaded. Which brings me to the last on the list of our must-do activities, which is catching the sunset at Scott's Head, the most southern point of the island. Take a walk up to the cannon on the ridge and soak in all the views. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed these tips and this video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And if you're headed over to Dominica anytime soon, enjoy it for us.